Hi, I'm Josh, a lawyer and the CEO of Mighty. I help protect people after their accidents, even sometimes from their own lawyers. I'm gonna tell you something really important that you need to know after an accident, but that your billboard lawyer probably won't tell you. You've probably seen billboard ads saying, we've won our clients $2 million. That's called the gross settlement. And hint, that's not what you're actually gonna get. You might remember the term gross, because it's pretty gross that billboard lawyers use misleading numbers in their ads. Instead, injured people get what's known as the net settlement. That's the amount of money that's left over after the doctors, financiers, health insurers, and of course lawyers take their cut. Let's go to the whiteboard to demonstrate a real case. In this situation, an injured person got $15,000 gross settlement, but only ended up with $4,275 in their pocket, which was their net settlement. And that's because their lawyer's fees, lawyer's costs, medical bills, and financing interest came out of their settlement first. There's two reasons that billboard lawyers typically talk about gross settlement instead of net. Number one, they're scared that if the client realizes how small their net settlement is, they won't pursue their case. Second, they're worried that the client will start questioning all of the charges. Now that you know the difference between gross versus net, there are three things that you can do to protect yourself. Number one, don't work with a lawyer who doesn't openly talk about the difference between gross and net. Number two, make sure that lawyer keeps you abreast of the charges throughout your case and make sure that they're reasonable. And third, don't get more medical treatment than you need. Medical treatment is often the highest expense that comes out of your case other than lawyer's fees.